Um, it's matcha time. <laughs> well, I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Um, and yeah, we're super excited to be ha having this AMA with the matcha team here today with us is Anthony. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for joining us today. And for sure, thank you, Arbinauts, for always supporting. And yeah, how are you, Anthony? It's it's a pleasure to have you here. Like maybe you can share like a brief intro about yourself. Like what do you do at Matcha? Like your role. And uh, yeah, we'd love to hear and learn more about you. Oh, sorry, sorry, Anthony. I think I have some technical issues and I cannot hear you. But give me just one second. Maybe now. Oh yeah. yeah oh yeah. <laughs> now you, here we are. Here we are. Okay. Fantastic. Sorry, I was waiting around. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, uh, I'm the content manager at Matcha, so I d tend to kind of look at what we do and then uh, write about it or cover it on, on video. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm here basically just to talk about what we do um, as a DEX aggregator, um, kind of reach out to the community and say like, use matcha because it's a <laughs> it's it's basically the simplest way to to swap so i'm i'm here to show um <laughs> that uh I, i'm also happy to talk about many other things in terms of um, liquidity and the challenges of basically consumer um consumer apps in the DeFi space so thanks for having me Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony, for, for coming. <laughs> and yeah, she'll, she'll match up for sure. <laughs> and yeah, well, I I remember, like, I was in East Denver, I think it's two days, uh, two, two weeks ago, sorry, or three now, and you had a, an amazing booth in, in, in Denver, and I actually was passing by and say hi to, to your team, to Carl, And yeah, thank you very much for giving me a matcha drink. It was fantastic. <laughs> I really yeah. enjoyed being in your booth. <laughs> yeah, they were they were a huge hit. Um, most people came here just for, came there just for the drink, and then they had to find out what matcha was. So <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. And yeah, well, I, I, I know that Matcha is super, super known, super well known. But, but yeah, if so, uh, I would like to share or explain more about what Matcha is for people that maybe is listening for the first, first time Matcha. So, so yeah, Matcha is like a that's a gregor for, but yeah, I, I would like to ask you, like, if you can spl explain the community, like, what can you do in Matcha? And, yeah, and also what's the best way to get involved and interact with, with Matcha? For sure. Um, so Matcha is a DEX aggregator, um, and that means a decentralized exchange aggregator. Um, when you have a decentralized exchange, you basically have a place you can go and people give you liquidity through their coins, and you can use those co their coins to trade from one one token for another. So when you aggregate uh, liquidity from places like uh, Uniswap, um, <laughs> give me one other example, um, then what you, what you have is a, a route through um, pools of tokens that um, allows you to exchange um, say one token that's not available on Uniswap for another token that's available on another exchange. So we we basically find a route through multiple different uh, decentralized exchanges to get you from token A to token B. And um, on top of that, there are different ways to trade. It doesn't necessarily have to be a simple swap from, um, say, DGEN on the, or let's talk about something on Arbitrum, <laughs> um, say from, from the ARP token to USDC. Um, it could also be a cross-chain uh, trade from uh, Ethereum to Arbitrum. So you can do that on on uh, Matcha, and you can also sell limit orders. So we kind of give you this suite of tools that all goes through our aggregated liquidity so that you can find the, the best prices um, and kind of trade the way that you want while kind of, while removing the friction of decentralized trading because it's not it's not so simple uh, as, it, as using a centralized exchange. Um, and The, the main thing with Matcha is that it's, it's free to swap, and that's not really the case with many other uh, decentralized exchanges. Um, if, 
if you if you just want to go and trade with token A for token B and get the best price, that's what we're we're about. Um, and we also offer more sophisticated tools on top of that, including a um, a matcha auto mode, which is um, gives you a bit of protection against things like sandwich attacks on Ethereum mainnet, um, and also lets you trade gasless. And I think we're going to come up to come to that a bit later on. Um, but I think that's a real killer feature for for Web3 because when when you send a US USD transaction from one bank to another, you don't really need to think about gas. You do have, have to pay, pay a fee along the way, but there are things like a um, Swift and so on that make it free to send transactions. So people are used to that, and in in Web3, we, you don't have that capability. So what we're trying to do um, with Matcha is just make it as simple as possible to trade within Web3 um, and kind of give people the experience that they're used to from the Web2 world. No. Nice, yeah, I, I see, and, and yeah, I, I'd say at the end, it's like, you're totally making it easier for the people that want to interact with the ecosystem, because, because yeah, now they don't have to go to a lot of different exchanges to to get a token or to, to do a swap, but they can only use, do it in, in Matcha, right? Like, and you're, you're the ones who, in the, in the back, you are, like, given... The options to do the exactly yes yeah. <laughs> you say that than I do <laughs> um, so yeah a sing single source for for any token that you want I mean we have over five million tokens at this point because oh, of that wow. um, distributed or kind of unifying liquidity from so many different sources nice 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 wow well, that's that's awesome to be honest and I, I would like to hear more about like the the story of of matcha like for sure. I imagine like this, like now you're making it easier for for the community, but because you've been working very hard to build this product, right? Um, so so yeah, I would like to hear more like about the story, like what inspired you to build Matcha from the beginning? Maybe for how long you've been building it? And yeah, may and maybe you can share like a little bit about why the name, why Matcha? Why is Matcha the name of it? <laughs> sure. Um, so to start with, there was um, there was zero X, and uh, zero X is the the infrastructure provider that powers so many uh, different uh, Web three apps. And what zero X does is it provides a suite of APIs, and those APIs will let you integrate things like a swap function into your wallet or into your into your exchange. Um, there are a lot of like big big brands who are using the using Xerox APIs in different ways, different a, different different APIs. So we have a suite of I think six. Um, so a swap API, a meta transaction API called TX Relay, and and others. So depending on what app you're using, you might be using one of them. You might be using several of them. But what Matcha is is kind of the the Xerox API full stack. So we're just building one product that uses almost exclusively Xerox um, infrastructure to give you the, the, the full experience. And I kind of started as a, I, I suppose, as a, I wasn't there, <laughs> as a bit of an experiment um, to, to see what happens when you put them all together and kind of show, show off the Xerox APIs. Um, but then it was kind of clear that this is a really nice, efficient um, way of trading. And you have all that aggregated liquidity, you have limit orders, you have uh, meta transactions now, um, and, and things like that. So that was that was where Magic came from. I suppose it was kind of a, a weekend project to begin with, and then it was uh, launched as a full consumer app back in 2021. And since then, it's kind of evolved, and I think it had maybe 10,000 or a few tens of thousands of tokens back then. Um, and yeah, in April or in March last year, there was an upgrade to version 2. And what version 2 did was um, basically overhaul it and uh, 10, 100 exit or something like that. Um, in terms of the amount of tokens that are available to trade. 
and the amount of liquidity sources that are, are pulled together. So there are currently 130 um, liquidity providers, liquidity sources um, aggregated by, by Matcha. Um, that's kind of been the trajectory is there was, it was a bit of a cult app to begin with where people love to use it, but there was no real marketing push. There was no um, look, no one was really talking about that. So they were using it, but they weren't talking about it. We had really high, high, um, high volume users. Um, moving lots of large amounts of money through Matcha because it would be very efficient for them. But there wasn't like this outreach to the community to say, hey, actually, you should use this because it's cheaper and you're going to save money and you're going to have <laughs> uh, less frustration from reverb rates and, and so on. Um, and then with Matcha version 2, it became clear that, hey, okay, now we have an app that does <laughs> so many tokens, no matter what you think of, it will be there on Matcha and you can go and trade it just in one go. So why don't we go and tell the world about this? And so the Matcha name has been there since the beginning. Um, I'm not actually certain about the, the roots of it. I've always felt that there was this like match of uh, matching tokens, a bit like match.com. You find your perfect match between <laughs> token A and token B. Um, but it's, it's also got this kind of Zen principle to it. It's a very, very, clean and, um, I don't know, meditative uh, feel to it. You just go there, you type in the token that you want, you find it there, and you can go and trade. Um, and you don't need to worry about things like, are they charging me 87 bips on, on this trade? How do I find out? Do I have to go through three menus to find out that they're actually charging a fee? There's none of that with Matcha. So I think it's always been this kind of like, not highly caffeinated, but moderately caffeinated, just enough to get you going. Um, <laughs> feel to it. Nice. That's, yeah. that's uh, such a nice story, to be honest. Um, and you're very, very inspiring, too. And, and yeah, thank you for as well explaining how OX is also boosting the match matcha. Uh, I think that I find that very, very interesting for sure. And, and yeah, you're building amazing stuff. And it, this, this thing that you mentioned about the, the name Matcha, like that you feel that uh, Matcha is like matching the community with the tokens they, they want. So that, that blows my mind. <laughs> and that didn't came to my mind. Like when I, I when I saw Matcha, I thought it was like, maybe it's Matcha because they like Matcha, you know, like they, they liked to drink Matcha. They, they, <laughs> they thought it was a cool name, but now I, I know it has like a lot of, a, a, a deep, a deeper, a deeper meaning. So yeah, that's, that's yeah. really cool to see. <laughs> And I mean, there, there's this thing that sorry, there's this thing that they do when they prepare matcha, where you basically grind it down into this very fine powder, um, and <laughs> yeah, it, this kind of swirling of, of tokens, this infinity of tokens, is kind of uh, really yeah, representative of uh, <laughs> or yeah, it, evocative of the matcha ceremony as well. I think it's very there's many ways you can interpret it. <laughs> Yeah, totally. That's true. That's true. That's that's something very interesting. The great way to to see it, to be honest. <laughs> Did, didn't know about that, and cool to know in this and fi or find out in this AMA. So so yeah, Arbinauts, if you didn't hear why matcha is called like that, you can release in this AMA for sure because it's going to stay recorded. <laughs> so so you can hear the story behind it. Uh, nice. So I, I'd like to ask you more about the the milestones or achievements that Matcha has done over the past years till now. Um, yeah, what are what are your favorite moments, Matcha moments? <laughs> sure. Um, so like. From the beginning, Match has always been seen as a kind of design leader. Um, there's a lot of apps, who I'm not going to name and shame, um, <laughs> but who have adopted the Matcha um, trade module. And that trade module has kind of been there in, in a in very similar form since since day one. So kind of seeing that propagate across the, um, across the deck space has been quite nice. Um, then there was also the Matcha V2 launch, which I've already mentioned, but that was like a, going from tens of thousands to 
three million tokens, and since <laughs> since we launched um, one, nine months, ten months ago with V2, we're already at five million. So that's two million tokens added in in nine months, and that's like an, uh, a needle that we just see see uh, spinning around and around and around. And that like five million mark was kind of a nice New Year achievement for us. Um, and besides that, like we've added. Um, several chains in the last couple of years. I think we went from being Ethereum mainnet um, in 21 to adding another seven within 2022, 20, 2023, including Arbitrum. And then uh, in August, we added base as well. So now we have nine uh, EVM networks, um, or eight EVM networks plus, <laughs> plus one that's not quite EVM. Um, and yeah, this kind of expansion of chains is always exciting because it brings the communities with it, or like filters them the other way, or sends people to those new communities and um, start or new chains, new communities start exploring what's being built on those apps, uh, on those networks, and so on. Um, so I don't feel like we're simply adding chains for the sake of it. I think most of the ones that we have on, on the app have been quite carefully selected um, in terms of their contribution to Web3 as a whole. Um, so that's one nice thing. Then um, we actually added cross-chain uh, functionality. So this is a aggregated cross-chain um, bridge or cross-chain bridge aggregator, uh, which allows you to swap between it seven or eight of our chains um, and find the best price. So you're not just going to get, um, say, served up a bridge, you don't click on it and say, okay, now you're going to the Arbitrum bridge, you're going to get a route tailored to you that's comparing prices against other uh, options that are out there, and you're going to get a good price to, to get move your funds across chain. And since uh, EIP 4844, that's been like, uh, a pr pretty, uh, pretty much on fire because people want to go to L2s and they want to try all these things, but the the idea of paying a huge price for bridging and then a huge price for or <laughs> an inflated price for swapping um, between tokens is kind of off putting. But now there's suddenly there's this new incentive. That, okay, once you're on that new chain, you can swap for less than a cent, um, and. Yeah, that kind of ties into a milestone. It's not really our mile milestone, but with that cross-chain functionality, we're seeing a lot more um, interest in, in L2s. Um, you mentioned East Denver. I think that was that was super for us because much has not really had a pre presence before um, at, at many of these conferences, and we're only starting now to say like match is here. Um, come <laughs> come meet us, and it was it was amazing how many people. Have, use Matcha, um, wanted the source at the booth and like, oh, you're here. We've never seen you in, in, at a conference before. Um, and just hearing all these stories about how people are using Matcha like day in, day out, they're like really prominent people as well. So for example, Jesse from Base was, uh, he came to our booth as well and he's, he's a huge user of, of Matcha. There's, um, yeah, it's, it's just really nice to be kind of justify your work and meet these people um, in person. And then, um, yeah, the latest thing we did was a uh, new, new homepage for Matcha. I know it doesn't sound that exciting, but it's a big step for us. We kind of moved away from the sole Google search bar and we're kind of giving people more browsability. So you can see your popular tokens, you can see tokens that are trending, and you can also see what people have just been swapping on Matcha. So the latest trades that are coming through, you can go and say like, what is, <laughs> What is, uh, what is that very obscure token? Um, and click on it, see the activity, and kind of get a feel for, for new parts of, of Web3 that you haven't really uh, discovered before. Um, yeah, so that's where we are right now. Nice, those are, those are amazing milestones, to be honest. And, and yeah, this, uh, that, I, I, I guess out products or out projects in the ecosystem benefit too from this Ethereum upgrades like the one you mentioned, 4844, or um, the, these blobs on the layer 2, so for sure, as well we, on Arbitrum, uh, like this Tuesday, we had a, another upgrade with uh, Arbos. Like, 
maybe maybe you notice, but now like after the blobs, uh, like for sure all the all the layer twos uh, had a uh, an amazing fee like, a, a lower gas fees lower gas fees uh, after mm -hmm. that. But then we on Tuesday with Arbitrum with uh, the Airbus upgrade we had uh, another uh, another uh, low, lower and like another round of lower ga gas gas fees so so yeah it was amazing uh, to see how how lower the 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 fees are at this moment um, mm -hmm. and yeah it's 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 very very cool to see how that this is very impactful for you to like for for matcha and for other projects that are building in the in the ecosystem and yeah uh, talking about that i i like to know like more about from a technical or also perspective about what matcha is focused on currently to contribute and help for their mass adoption on the DeFi ecosystem like yeah besides the lower fees that we are having Right now, what else is Matcha doing to to boost this? Sure, um, Matcha has always really been about like simplicity and price. <laughs> um, we we don't want to like overwhelm people with the complexity that's happening on the API side of things. Um, we we just want people to go click, get what they want, and then trade. So there's no real end to, to where that can go. There's a lot of experimentation that has to happen and a lot of kind of abstract thinking in terms of the designs. So that was where the homepage came into play. Um, we're trying to get people where they need to be sooner, um, as soon as possible. And I don't, and I think on the kind of user experience side, there's things like cross-chain, um, can be like a nightmare. You can have to trade into USDC, then you have to go to the Arbitrum bridge, and then you have to, or sorry, into WEF, and then you have to go to the Arbitrum bridge, and then you have to um, get your your WEF onto Arbitrum, then you have to trade into another token that you really wanted. So that's like three transactions, maybe four. Um, and each of them is costing you gas, but mainly it's just costing you time um, and effort. And what's, what we want is for people to like say what they need and then one click they get what they need. Um, so that is <laughs> kind of uh, the point of Matcha, it's just to like remove all the friction. And um, in terms of pricing, uh, what's, what we're really focused on right now isn't really on the matcha side because matcha doesn't do the back end work. Um, it's on the zero X side. So uh, at ETH Denver, um, our uh, smart contract engineer was presenting on zero X API version five, which should be coming out um, in a few months, um, which is really focused on rethinking uh, how how tokens are rooted through liquidity. And I'm not going to try and uh, sum up his, his video, but he's, he, he did a really good job. Um, and it's, it's basically the most complicated thing you've seen <laughs> uh, in terms of, of token swaps. But with Matcha, it's going to be a one-click um, <laughs> one swap where you get the best price that you, that you can get, like, hands down. No matter what platform, what aggregator you would try and use, Matcha will always give you the best price. No matter how much you're trading, Matcha will always give you the best price. So that is um, kind of the, the full stop to, to, to the pricing problem for, for the time being. Of course, things move um, over time, but I think we, we at Matcha are really just looking to the Xerox team on that and saying, like, okay, when's it going to be ready? Um, because that's going to be very definitive, I think. And um, then, yeah, seamless multi-chain experiences, I think that needs to become a bit more refined, not necessarily just, <laughs> just on the Matcha side, but in general. Like, the amount of L2s that now exist is kind of... Yeah, um, getting a bit silly, and uh, we we want we, we we want to like make it 
as easy as possible to move between them, but of course we can't support everything, so we want to support the ones with the biggest community, we want to support the, um, the ones who really draw users, like, like Arbitrum. Um, there's, yeah, I, I think we are focused on simplicity and the whole space is super fragmented, but we want to make it unified even if we can't do anything about the fact that it's uh, propagating so so rapidly and uh, yeah i mean we just want to be a, a safe and easy platform to trade on that will always get you the best price <laughs> well that's that's very cool to be honest like that you are as well working on this uh, upgrade for matcha to to make it easier for for the community, like, I, I totally get what you mean, like, to be honest, like, you've seen some, like, use, use crypto or be part of the web trade ecosystem is kind of hard in the beginning, um, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, like, how, how can I explain to my mom that she will need, for to get a token, she will, she, she will need to, as you mentioned, like, to do a, a to do a, even a bridge sometimes, or, and then use another, another, another platform, or even two or three, so yeah, this, this is, this is super crazy, <laughs> so, so yeah, having, having these, um, these innovations like matcha or yeah these platforms that is making this path easier for people i think is is amazing for sure and and, and yeah i i'm very curious about this this upgrade uh, you mentioned that you are, you are you are still working on it right so so maybe we are going to have a, an announcement when it's ready from the matcha account oh yeah definitely um the the api upgrade will will come from the ZeroX account, um, so if you're not following them, follow them. Uh, and uh, at the same time, we'll, we'll definitely do a big, uh, <laughs> a big uh, hooray um, on, on the Matcha account as well. Nice, we'll, we'll be looking forward for that one for sure. I am going to activate the notifications to o OX and, <laughs> and Matcha to, to get this alert. alert. <laughs> Nice. I I want to ask you too about the the gasless swaps that you are having at the moment. Yeah. Uh, like yeah, I, I want to to ask you like what does this mean? Well, gasless for sure uh, is no no gas swaps. <laughs> but, but yeah, like w when did you start implementing them? Is is it, is it going to over? Yeah, I don't know. Like what does this mean for the for the community? Yeah, so uh, ga gasless swaps, um, like it, it's in the name, but um, it's actually not that like straightforward. Um, it came, it's a, a feature called Matcha Auto, which has been in Matcha since uh, they launched V2 last year, and it, it, it's on the on the technical side, it's a meta transaction, and that means that instead of you going and uh, signing a transaction and sending it on chain. You go to via the Xerox uh, TX Relay API. You are sending a message to Xerox that you want to buy a certain token, and that that is being fulfilled by Xerox between them and uh, private market makers and uh, other liquidity options, I believe. Um, and once it's fulfilled, you, that the uh, tokens go to you, but you are paying um, the gas fee back from the token that you receive. So it's not like you, you're, you're suddenly, um, that gas fees suddenly disappear, that's impossible. But what it means that you can do is if you don't have, if you have been airdropped a token onto Arbitrum and you've never used Arbitrum before, you can still use that token. You can go and swap between that token and something else. Um, the only thing you can't do is use, uh, is swap between that and Ethereum itself. So it's not the native token that is used in, in gasless swaps because you can use gas for them. It would make no sense. Um, but it means that if you're, um, if you have a token, if you have some dust uh, on some chain that you forgot to get, get rid of, um, if you have uh, some uh, token payouts that are coming in, um, they're always going to be movable. So we basically <laughs> unblocked, um, I don't know, uh, say 5% of, of, of all tokens in existence because they, they were just 
uh, sitting on, on some network somewhere where the person didn't have guests. So this is a, a feature that we have um, on five chains now, including Arbitrum. Um, the others are, I think, Base, Optimism, Ethereum, Mainnet, and Polygon. Um, but it, it's something that we've only been able to roll out to other chains in the last few months. And um, it, it's, it's a huge like, experience, uh, user experience improvement because like, what, what are you going to do with those tokens if you don't have gas? You're going to send Ethereum to that chain, you're going to sp spend fees on the bridging, then you're going to spend fees in, in, in the swap itself, and then maybe you want to take it off that chain again. So yeah, like, what's, is it a positive, uh, positive sum gain for you? In most cases, it's not. So it's better to just be able to say, OK, I've got this token. I actually would like to try out that project on Arbitrum. So I'm going to swap for that project. And now I've got something I can use. Um, and I'm not going to be stuck here. So that's, that's sort of the gas side of, of, of the API. But it actually has some other benefits. Um, the time to block is, is faster. So you're not going, because it's using these uh, private channels. Um, so you're not going to see um, like ha uh, these gas wars that, that that happen on public mempools. You're going to say within one or two blocks, 99% of the time, your transaction will be will be will go through. Um, and another benefit of that, um, I don't think it applies to Arbitrum, but at least on mainnet, there's a MEP protection. So this will stop you from getting sandwich attacks if you're. Um, if you're going through public mempools, people can see that your transaction is about to um, execute, and they can put a transaction before it, a transaction after it, and artificially pump the price. So this is um, seeking out inefficiencies in your trading. And with with the, um, this TX Relay API, that doesn't happen. So it's a uh, it's a uh, pretty, pretty magic. And most people, once they switch to Match Auto or try it out for the first time, they're they're using Match Auto for all of the following trades for the rest of their trading um, life cycle. So it's it's just kind of a all around upgrade for the trading experience. And there there is a like 15 bits fee to use the Match Auto that comes out of it. That's for the privilege of uh, of all these things. But that's actually like um, the same that you pay on Uniswap for a regular swap. Um, and you are also saving money on things like the MEV protection and the, the opportunity cost of being the first person in the block. So, um, yeah, it's I, I use Matterauto on pretty much every trade I can, um, just because it's it's simpler for me, it's faster, and uh, yeah, I guess it's <laughs> when I need it. Yeah, totally. That that is that is awesome, man. And yeah, just just to confirm super quickly, like so right now, swap tokens that are on Arbitrum, uh, now you can swap them without need ETH for gas. Yes, this is happening right now, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> no. Cool, cool. That's something super cool. <laughs> so yeah, that that's awesome to be honest. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I, I'd like to ask you more about what what's coming now for, for Matcha, like uh, maybe if you can share, like, uh, you already mentioned for sure that you're working on this um, EIP and upgrade for Matcha, well, for o OX2, for OX. Uh, so yeah, wondering if there's something else that is in the roadmap or yeah, maybe if you can share, like, if you're going to be attending to other crypto events this year for for yeah for the community to get in touch and and get some yeah, uh, swag. <laughs> <laughs> definitely uh, the, the swag was a huge hit this year um we actually ran out uh, every day and we just have to <laughs> have to prepare for the next one um on the on the matcha roadmap right now it's it is about those those points i mentioned earlier so it's about the price it's about that zero x api uh, or zero x protocol upgrade to v5 um and on the on the other end of it it's really just about refining the user experience so there's no specific uh chains that i'm aware of on the roadmap again i'm a content guy so i'm not <laughs> uh, deep in the technical side of things but i don't believe that there's any um anything apart from 
um, simplifying the user experience and improving the price and really just looking for um, looking to make Matcha the like go-to app for for like your one-stop shop of, of anything you need to do on chain. Um, we're not going to be competing with centralized exchanges, but in terms of um, tech dexes, there's no real reason to use another dex, and we really want to make that clear. Um, <laughs> not, not aggressively, just kind of like, we wish you weren't losing money on these things. Um, we don't want you to be swapping through wallets and um, spending spending like 1% on, on a trade. And the, there are going to be um, improvements in terms of uh, the cross-chain experience, improvements in, in the swap experience and the limit order experience, but at the moment it's really about just making Matcha ready for for that billion users that everyone keeps talking about because um, we, we have the service for them and we just need them to realize that they can trade there. So we're just trying to make it seamless. And um, well, that's at least for the next three months. I don't know what happens beyond that because I haven't seen, um, <laughs> seen that deep into the roadmap. Um, but yeah, I think, I, I think where we are right now is where we wanted to be six months ago. And now we're trying to put ourselves, um, yeah, kind of get, get ahead of ourselves and really say, okay, this is the best uh, DEX experience and that anyone could ask for. And then we can start, um, say, bloating it with features <laughs> because we have, we have the full kit in terms of what you would want. Um, and people need to realize that by, by getting uh, the seamless experience that, we, we, that we're marketing. Um, and yeah, in terms of where we're going to be this year, um, I believe we'll be at um, each city in Paris. Um, we'll be at DevCon, and I would have to ask <laughs> someone else to see what else we have lined up. We will be doing a, doing a small conference circuit, circuit this year. Um, there's like a really small team in terms of the, the matcha side of things. There's only three of us uh, on the marketing side. And um, so the people you saw at Eve Denver, most of them are developers. <laughs> um, they're, they're our engineers and um, we, we, we rely on them <laughs> to, to build matcha. So if we're going to turn up at every conference, I don't know, but uh, we'll do a few, yeah. Cool. Yeah, many many great plans for for Matcha this year for sure. And and yeah, looking forward to see you in maybe one of those events. I don't know. We'll, like the our Arbitrum is going to go to ETC for sure for to DevCon. Uh, there are other events that we are going to be attending to. Some of them as well in Asia. Um. So yeah, we we'll hope hope to be in any of those events too, like myself, Anna. <laughs> so yeah, so we yeah, can hear for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, it, it's really like motivating to be somewhere like that and see all these people come to you, but I know. there's there's kind of a trade-off where like, we have half a million wallets that connect, uh, that connect to Matcha, and then you have, say, a thousand people that you meet within a day. So who are we servicing by being at these events? Is it, <laughs> is it those half million? Probably not. It makes <laughs> us feel good about ourselves. But uh, yeah, we, we definitely want to be more visible and we want to have more of a presence. So um, in person and via the app. <laughs> I think we need to strike a balance. Yeah, yeah totally. And yeah, it, it totally helps, I, I think. Uh, and getting to know the community as well, super super important. So, so yeah, very cool to see that. Um, and yeah, well, Anthony, I would love to know, like, where can people learn or learn more about Matcha? Like, I know that they should go to follow you on X, like Matcha X account, for sure, OX account too. Uh, yeah, wondering if there is something else like uh, Discord, Telegram, something. Sure, I can give you the rundown. Um, I would say, like, more than X, I'd rather you follow this on, on WordPress, honestly, um, because that's, that's where we're really enjoying our presence at the moment. Um, we've been building frames, we've been uh, just engaging with people in a completely new way, 
that feels much more at home in, in terms of Web3. So if you go to Warpcast, it's just, uh, just a Matcha XYZ account there. Um, Zero X project is also there. Um, then we do have a Discord, and the Discord has, uh, what are they called? Um, privileged members, I'll say. Um, so we, we have like um, tiers for really dedicated um, Matcha users. It's really a great place to go for support uh, on Matcha and to kind of learn, learn like what you can do with Matcha. So definitely sign up for the Discord. And like matcha.xyz, go to the, the website itself, give it a test yourself. Um, and yeah, we have a blog too, which, which is mostly written by me. Um, so <laughs> I'd love you to check that out. It's blog.matcha.xyz. And you can also subscribe for, for our newsletter. We're not too spamming with it, so you can, you can enjoy um, hearing about all the new things that are happening. We do ship updates like every week, um, sometimes small, sometimes big, but uh, it will all come through on that, uh, on that newsletter. So yeah, that's Warpcast, the homepage, uh, the blog, the Discord, and I'm probably missing something. Oh yeah, we're on uh, a couple of other um, D social apps. So D-Bank is one of them. You can find us there and something else. <laughs> I need to open my newsletter to be able to, <laughs> to see all the links at the bottom of it. But just, uh, yeah, search for, for Matcha XYZ and you'll come across most of our, most of our links there. Awesome. Yeah, totally. There are many ways to get involved, to be honest. That's, that's super cool. Uh, so many. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you mention as well, like, do, do, do you create a book? A book? A book? Uh, or maybe Sorry. I didn't understand it. Like you said, book or a blog that you are writing. A blog, yes. Oh, a blog. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I understand like a book, and I was like, oh my god, there is a book, <laughs> matcha's book. That would be cool. <laughs> matcha recipes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. Imagine it like a book with recipes, like but for sure related to crypto, like recipes. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool, Anthony. Nice. Nice that you're writing all those blogs. I'm going to check check them out. Check them out. I didn't know that you were the a greater. <laughs> <laughs> Many hats. Yeah. <laughs> nice, Anthony. Well, uh, I think I think we are about to finish this AMA. But but yeah, uh, wondering if you would like to share something else to the community or something that we haven't touched yet. Um. No, I, th I think I would come back to that last statement. Just please go and try a Warpcast. I think that's where, um, that's the most exciting thing for me personally um, in, in Web3 at the moment. I mean, well, the most exciting is maybe an exaggeration. Just it's, it's where I'm starting to feel the vibes I felt back in 2018, uh, back in, <laughs> way, way back when. Um, and I think in terms of the culture, it's the only decentralized social app that I've seen where things have kind of elevated beyond this echo chamber. So if you haven't tried it yet, go, go check out, um, go check out Warpcast, check out the Matcha account there. And um, we have these frames in there where if you've traded on Matcha using Matcha Auto, um, we, there, you can just claim a reward by these frames, which is mind blowing in terms of, in terms of the functionality. So. Um, imagine Twitter was giving, was, would know that you had ever traded on um, Binance and it would give you back a rebate for that. So with, with Farcaster you're able to do that. So yeah, I, I think if you're looking for something to do this weekend, uh, go sign up for Warpcast and uh, give us a follow <laughs> and uh, check out some frames and some and mint some NFTs. Yeah. Nice, that's very cool. You're everywhere. Nice. Um, yes, where podcasts and frames are, are cool. So yeah, I, I will check it out for sure. And and yeah, we'll we'll check where the links to it are. But but yeah, I guess are in the in WordPress, right? Like in your profile, Matcha profile. Yes. Yeah, you can just scroll through our profile. We have a Matcha channel as well. <laughs> um, but let's not get too distracted. I guess. <laughs> Okay, nice, fantastic, I see it, cool. Yeah, well, 
Thank you very much, Anthony, for joining us today. It was uh, a pleasure talking to you, getting to know more about yourself too, about matcha, just getting to know about the story, the matcha history and why the name of matcha is. And yeah, for sure, you shared with us some alphas, very interesting things about what you're building. Uh, and for, for now and for the future. So so yeah, thank you for joining us today. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> so looking forward to thank meeting you, you in person, maybe one day. <laughs> I'm sure we will, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Anna. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much. And thank you, Arbinauts, who joined us today. Thank you for always being so supportive. So, so yeah, have a great Thursday. <laughs>